every city in Australia has important corridors that connect people to jobs, services, where they socialise. They're full of stress, full of beeping horns. To not have them prioritising sustainability means that our cities aren't performing well and a lot of people are stuck in traffic on a daily basis. So a sustainable transport corridor is really the opposite of what we've got now. For a long time our roads, our streets dominated by cars. Noisy, polluted, smelly. We want our corridors to be leaner, to be greener and to link our places together. Sustainable transport corridors cater for more than just vehicles. We should also be thinking about our public transport services, the people who walk along these corridors and also ride. Really, at the end of the day, a sustainable transport corridor is putting people at the centre of our corridor planning. We're a Haymarket roundabout in Melbourne, Victoria. Everyone knows it from being a driver. They know it as being confusing and dangerous. Everyone knows it from being a cyclist. They either avoid it or don't go through it. Everyone knows it as a tram passenger as you don't quite know where you're going. What there should be is an urban piazza, but to do that we need to put active travel in those space efficient modes first in our planning process. As you can hear, we've also got freight movement coming through our key transport corridors and we need to be considering them in conjunction with our sustainable modes, which is our pedestrians and our bikes, in a safe manner. Providing sustainable transport corridors has huge benefits to the community. People can't afford to go to the gym, I don't have a gym membership. So I want to get my incidental activity from walking, from cycling. I want to pass shops and if I want to stop and buy something, I want the ability to do that. If you create a place where people can spend time, where people are welcome, that's inclusive, they're going to spend more money. And that's what a sustainable corridor provides. So globally, there's a whole lot of cities that are reallocating road space along key corridors to sustainable travel. We know that. But we also know the response in any city on a busy corridor needs to be hyper-local. You need to understand your local businesses, your local communities, but also those stakeholders making decisions. The survey's done, people want this. It's so important. At the end of the day, we've got no choice. Traffic's only gonna get worse. And if we don't act now, then you know, it's gonna be too late. Every survey we ever do, the community always tell us that they want choice, they want sustainable outcomes, and they want the ability to get around the city in a whole lot of different ways. When we go to design corridors, there's a gap between what the community's telling us and what's happening. We've got the ability to improve people's lives. With the team that we've built at Stantec, we've got this national team, we've got great local presence in all our cities, all our regional towns, and I love seeing that difference on the street. I love seeing a simple thing like somebody on a cargo bike with a little kid sitting in the front. The ultimate outcome would be for all road users to feel safe and have comfortable journeys. Thank you.